Hannah Jackson, your Roadmap Reporter here. Us Brits love a good cup of tea, but we're not the only country that takes tea making so seriously. An important part of Japanese culture is Chado, the Japanese tea ceremony which dates back to the 16th century. The ritual involves presenting green tea to a guest in a very specific way, but it's not only how you serve the tea that's important, the tea bowl itself needs to be just right too. Today I've come to meet Martin Miles Moore, a potter who specialises in making these Japanese tea bowls. Martin, thank you so much for letting me come and look around your studio. Oh, it's a pleasure. You're very welcome. So I have to ask, why Japanese tea bowls? It's not really something you expect to find someone making in the middle of the English countryside. As a very young man, I studied martial arts and at 14 years old, I witnessed my first Japanese tea ceremony and was completely bowled away by the experience. I thought it was wonderful. Japanese tea bowls are unlike ordinary bowls. Their size and shape are defined by strict rules around how they're used in this ancient ritual. Making the perfect tea bowl takes a great deal of practice. So today, Martin is going to show me how to get started. So what we're going to make is a winter tea bowl. Uh -huh. And it'll be slightly taller than it is wide. So what kind of clay are you using here? I'm using a... Um, a clay that we get from Stoke-on-Trent, it's a, it's a real clay that's been dug from a quarry and it's a clay that's, um, that's actually quite robust. It's a good strong clay. Mm -hmm. Even though you're clearly thinking about the aesthetics here, are you also thinking about the function as well? Yes, particularly with a tea bowl you've got to think about how the bowl is used um, practically um, in the context of a, of a tea ceremony, so there are ways that the bowl has to be handled. So I have to think about how tall the wall of the cup is in relation to the width of the cup. Yeah. I have to think about making a small depression to collect the, the dregs of the green tea powder afterwards. Mm. So yes, all of those things are going through my mind when I'm throwing it. It's looking beautiful already. As with all art, what I find amazing is when you know when to stop. How do you know when it's finished? For me, perfection is achieved not when there's nothing more that I can add to the piece, but actually when there's nothing left that I can take away. I like to keep them subtle um, and unobtrusive. So that's it, a winter tea bowl. I wouldn't mind having a cup of tea out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, more importantly, do you want to have a go at making a tea bowl yourself? <laughs> now it's my turn to have a go. That little thing it's not quite as easy as it looks. <laughs> With a little help from Martin's steady hand, I'm soon back on the right track. If I'd known it was this relaxing, I think I would have started years ago. And I can see my tea bowl taking shape. Your last <laughs> there he goes. And there you go. You've made a bowl. And there's my bowl, my tea bowl. Yeah. I'm very proud of that. Good. Well, even though I tried my best, I think I'll need a lot more practice before I produce something as impressive as this. But now I have my own beautiful bowl to drink my tea out of. This is Hannah Jackson, your Roadmap Reporter, signing off.